Good day students and welcome to the video on ones and twos complement and using it for to do subtraction. So basically taking the complement of a binary number just makes it negative. So what complement means it turns all the ones into zeros and all the zeros into ones. Why would you want to do that? Well this means that we can um, perform subtraction by addition. So we add a negative number to the positive number and that in this essence is subtraction. So this then means that we can um, use a simple one logic circuit for addition and we can use this, this one circuit for addition and subtraction. Whereas if you want to use uh, addition and subtraction separately you have to have two separate circuits. But with ones and twos complements, we can use the same circuit for addition, which makes everything smaller and cheaper and more power efficient. Um, so positive numbers stay the same, but negative numbers we put uh, into ones and twos complement. So ones complement. Um, so ones complement is very simple. So we turn all the ones into zeros and all the zeros into one. Here's an example. See all the ones to zeros and all the zeros to ones. And we do this for every single one of them, changing nothing else. So if we want to take uh, one's complement to two's complement, we just add one. Simple. So this is the normal binary number. Uh, we complement the binary number. So all the ones become zeros, all zeros become one. And once we have this, we add one. So here, we just have one. So now let's look at the example of doing complement arithmetic. So let's subtract four from eight. So now, uh, first off, we convert four and eight to binary. So this uh, one zero 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 is eight in binary, and zero one zero zero is in f uh, binary for four. I just added this zero here so that all. The numbers being added and subtracted have the exact same um, numbers of bits. Just makes subtraction easier. So now let's see one's complement. So this is the uh, binary number of eight, and this is the one's complement of four. So this is four in binary. So we change the zeros into ones and the ones into zeros. So we get this, and then we just add, and this is our addition result. Now. In one's complement, the carry, if we have a carry, we add the carry to the results. So this is our result. Then we add the carry. So as we have a carry and another carry, so you have one zero zero. And this is the answer. The answer is uh four zero one zero zero, which is binary for four. So you see by only doing addition we have subtracted 8 minus 4. Now using 2's complement as it is a binary for 8 and this is the 2's complement of 4. So up here just showing how I've done it. So 2's complement of 4, first 4 is this in binary. We take the complement, the 1's complement, uh, turn all the zeros into 1's and then we add 1. We add 1, you have a carry, another carry so you have 1, 1, 0, 0 and that's 2's complement as you see here. So then we add the two numbers and this is our result. But in two's complement you throw away the carry so we don't care what it is. And then you're left with this answer which is one zero zero which is binary for four. Once again we have done subtraction but by only doing addition. So one more example, let's subtract 3 from 8, because we know the binary for 8 already, which makes things easier. So first convert all the numbers into binary, so this is binary for 8 and this is binary for 3. One, one. So now, here I've added two zeros, just to make the, the numbers the same amount of bits, and now we convert 3 into 2's complement. So you have 0, 0, 1, 1 into was complement, complement uh, all the ones into zeros and the zeros into ones and then we add another one 
from there to there to make it into two's complement. So now with the binary of eight and then the two's complement, we add them together, we throw away the carry, and we're left with one zero one. And that is the answer five. Eight minus three is five. So it's very important to remember when you're doing subtraction using one's complement, we add the carry. And when we're using two's complement, we discard the carry. Very important. So now we come to signed binary numbers. So why do we have signed binary numbers? Is how does a computer know that a binary number is positive or negative? Or how do we know if a binary number is positive or negative? So we use signed binary numbers. So this is done by using the most significant bit of the binary. Let's say we have an 8-bit binary um, number. So the most significant bit, which is that bit there, it dictates what sign if it's a positive or negative number. So if it has a zero, it means it's positive. And if it's got a one, it means it's negative. So here means positive and the rest, the seven bits dictate the number, which is 37. Here is a one, which means it's negative and the rest of the numbers dictate if it's uh, neg uh, the number 37. So once again, we're using sign binary with seven bits to represent the number and the m uh, most significant bit is the sign bit. So now we want to convert sign binary to decimal, which is pretty easy. This is normal binary. So as you do with converting uh, this binary to decimal, you write the power of two above it and just remember this is the sign bit. So all that that does is it just indicates that we have a minus here at the front. So you have uh, 1, 2 times 4, 4 is 16, 2 times 4, 3 is 8, and then 1, 1. So, and then this is minus 25. This is wrong, sorry. This is minus, uh, let's go for this, I made an error, minus 25, so sorry about that. So moving on, so in one's complement, positive number in one's complement are evaluated by summing the weights where there are ones and ignore the weights where there are zeros. So exactly the same as you would normally do. And negative numbers require the weight of the sign bit to be added to the sum of the weights where there is a 1. We then add a 1 to the result. Okay, so let's see what they mean. So here we have this number. Um, this is the sign bit. So uh, it's a positive number because this is uh, 0. And it comes to 25. Now... Uh, here we have a 1, which means it's a negative number. So that negative number, uh, and bearing in mind this is 1's complement. So this 1's complement number, if we want to see what decimal value it is, we have that is a negative 1 times 128. So that is negative 128 plus... Now the rest are positive normal numbers and you carry on as you would normally do. 1 times 16, 1 times 8, and 1 times 1. And this gives you a grand total of minus 103. Now for 1's complement, we add the 1 and it is minus 102. So this is, uh, sorry, this is minus 102. So let's just see if this is correct. So now this is the signed once complement number that we had. So to take it back to um, normal binary, we make all the ones zeros and all zeros ones, and but we leave this because this is the sign bit. So we don't change that. Very important. Don't change the sign bit. So this becomes a zero, and then this one one zero zero one one zero is equal to 102, which is exactly what we got, minus 102 in the previous example. 
Now moving on to two's complement, a positive number is in two's complement are evaluated by summing the weights where there are ones and ignoring the weights where there are zeros. Exactly what we usually do. Negative numbers require the weight of the sign bit to be added to sum of weights where there is a one. So exactly as one's complement, just we don't add the one. So exactly the same as one's complement normal binary. If this is a positive number dictated by zero in the most significant bit, the answer is a positive 25. And here, where you have a, a negative bit, we do exactly what we do in uh, one's complement. We multiply one times 128, and it's a minus plus 116 plus 118 plus 1 and we have our answer minus 103 because we have minus here now let's check if this is correct uh, once again this is a sign bit we do not change it it makes the one here so now we have to convert from signed uh, from two's complement back to normal binary so we do this in this way. We convert, um, first we subtract to 1, which we added, remember? So we subtract that 1, and then we uh, make all the zeros 1s. So if you subtract a 1 from 2's complement, you get the 1's complement. And then going from 1's complement to normal binary, it's just taking the complements. All the zeros become 1. And that is what we're left with here. And that number is equals to 103 with the sign, which is negative. So we have negative 103. And that's the end of this particular video. Now, I know it is confusing. Um, but my advice, once again, is to do a lot of examples. You can have online looks as well. And do examples. Do the ones in the textbook. Uh, do the ones that the e-tutor gave you. And... Do them until you are sure what you are doing. Okay, good luck.